Def Jam's really a cultural institution. You know, they changed obviously the music we listen to, but also the way we dress and even the way we talk. When we first started brainstorming uh, for the site and what we wanted, that kind of led us to ask ourselves what would the Def Jam app be? We really wanted the user interface to feel like an app. We wanted the user to feel like the site was very flowy and the user can use their cursor keys to kind of surf around the website in a very quick and fun way. The main thing that we wanted to accomplish with the design is to keep it minimalist and inobtrusive because that way the site will have a much longer lifespan, it becomes timeless. With our minimalist design, it made it so that you could have an artist page work well for Rihanna and also an artist page work well for somebody like Public Enemy. won the account by showcasing how you could have different features and promotions and timelines all within the infrastructure of the site. Another unique aspect of the site for us was creating new ways for brands to sponsor the content on the site and to integrate with the content on the site. It's easy for admins to create interstitial ads and create feature banners. The advertisements are not your typ typical banner ad. What we really want to do is better integrate the brands with the Def Jam story. The Def Jam label has a lot of artists on their label, um, both archive and current. And so we needed a way to link up news stories, videos, um, albums, uh, tour dates to the artists so that you could see all the relevant content for each artist when they're viewing that page. Artists all get their own rich pages on the site. Users can interact around all their videos, read all their news, interact with playlists, and of course around their social media. Each artist links back to the Def 30 timeline. So basically, what we want to do is have all this content around the site, but everything fits into place somewhere. It all fits into the story, and users are interacting around that story. Another great feature of the Death Jam site is Death Trends. Basically, it's searching out social media likes on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And it's actually in real time showing you a graph of all Death Jam artists and how they're trending out there. Death Trends was a really fun piece to work on. It's basically another way for users to get into the Death Jam artists. There are so many artists, all of them are great, obviously but we want to give all these entry points into discovery for users. It is definitely one of our, 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 our best sites of, that we've ever done, and it kind of became our benchmark. Jam's not only seeing an increase in the current artist sales through this use of feature promotions, but they're also seeing a great increase in the sales of the legacy artists, the artists that built the brand. I think it's the most ambitious site we ever made. It's definitely pushing the limits of WordPress, and we're able to use all of our knowledge from all of our past sites and put together um, a, a nice and functional site that looks good and works well. The Def Jam website's one of my favorites. I feel like it was a turning point in design for us, where we were not saying what should the Def Jam website look like, but what should the Def Jam experience be. I feel like it's beyond the website. It's more thinking about the overall picture, the culture of Def Jam, how we want it to feel, its content, its animations, its programming. It, it's all tied up in one thing, and it came out just how I wanted it to come out. So that's, that always feels good.